Hello, everybody, and welcome to this drama-free Wednesday. Drama-free Wednesday, all day long, guys. Drama-free. <clears throat> um, but I do want to say this real quick. No drama, nothing about that. But I do want to really, really thank everyone who was um, super supportive of me and the channel in the comments. Um, I actually couldn't believe um, how amazing you guys all were. So that kind of blew my mind a bit. So there's that. Drama Free Wednesday, guys. So what I want to talk about today was um, all that stuff about um, Sam and Rushdie and um, the fat wall and all that. In the comments of that video, I don't know exactly how it was said or how it came up. We started talking about um, John Lennon and um, Berkowitz and The Catcher in the Rye. The Catcher in the Rye is a book um, I read in high school. I think this is actually... Um, my high school version. Although, if that's a border sticker, I doubt it is. This book kind of freaked me out. Because you, you heard, like, everybody talking about, like, this is the book that David Berkowitz was reading um, that made him want to kill John Lennon. Because this book talks about how everyone's a phony. And he thought that John Lennon was a phony. Or something like that. And then somebody said he was reading it when the cops found him. Or something. That's really weird. The whole thing. And then another thing about this book. When I was in high school. A lot of celebrities um, were said to be... Um, like, everywhere they go, they had this with them. Like, um, I remember Wynonna Ryder saying that. And there was someone else. If I recall, there was another actress and an actor who said that. If you guys know, leave it down in the comments below. But anyway, so because of all this, this book had this, like, aura um, back in the day for me. Oh, God, it smells fucking delicious. Oh. Yes, please. But the thing about this that I wanted to talk about was when I first read this, there was no internet. Okay? That made a lot of things scary. Meaning... Someone can tell you something about a book, and there was no way for you to check that, and you just had to kind of take people's words for it. And that is really worrying, okay? And I never thought about that as worrying until I was thinking about this the other day. And there was another book that was like that for me, and it was this little book by a little dude named Aleister Crowley and it was called The Book of the Law okay and both Catcher in the Rye especially the original version um, paperback of this and Book of the Law kind of have the same stark cover like Book of the Law it's like on a red leather with like gold lettering and I think the original Catcher in the Rye was like a leather-looking paper with gold lettering. So that's kind of weird. <clears throat> but the first time I read um, Book of the Law, I got it, and I read it, and then at the end of the book, it was like, and now you have to destroy this book. I fucking almost shit myself. I, 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 like, I remember feeling sick to my stomach and I ran out and I just ripped the book up and threw it in the, my grandma's trash can. 
And where did I find that book? At the B. Dalton slash and or Walden books in the basement of the Buena Park Mall. Ugh. So Catcher in the Rye has this mystique to it. And the Book of the Law, okay, also had a mystique to it that I was terrified of, that I was, like, freaked out by. And so now with the internet, I feel like no one should really ever be freaked out by a book again because you could just, like, Google it and see if it's true. The Necronomicon will never be something that intrigues people on the sense of wonder because everyone can look up in five seconds that it's fake. You see what I'm saying? So I think that there's a lot of, um, let's say grimoires that won't be so grim anymore. It's just, it's kind of cool, but it's also kind of sad. And it makes me think if somebody like Berkowitz, if he would have been able to Google things if he still would have went after John Lennon. If this book would have made him think anything. Yeah, it's just, it's it's really bizarre. So let me know down below what you think of all this stuff. Um, this book, I used to love this book, but maybe it was all the hype behind it. But I read it not too long ago, maybe like four or five years ago. And it really didn't do it for me anymore. And I thought Holden Caulfield was a petulant little bitch. So, I don't know. You tell me. What do you guys think? Run over, get my stuff, and I will talk to you guys later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.